Kerangamite sponsoring our Australian Indigenous titles, it's given us an amazing opportunity to now create a junior division within the event. It's something we've always wanted to do. It really provides some incredible opportunities for junior surfers, um, and particularly Indigenous junior surfers, um, to surf at Bells Beach and to, to surf alongside uh, some of the, the best surfers in Australia. Well, first time here, it's, it's great, like, just the beaches and the views is just absolutely amazing and I can't believe that I'm here like just being encouraged by everyone here is just it feels like home you know and it, it just it's a great memory to have I'm stoked absolutely stoked to be here with my mob so yeah can't wait for next year. So Krangmart CMA um, approached Surfing Victoria about mid 2016 to try and come together to mesh between the surfing community and the environmental outcomes that we were wishing to achieve through the Coastal Country funding. Yeah, we saw it as a very positive uh, partnership because we both want to have our catchment areas as clean and healthy as possible. So it was a great way for us to pass on that message to a whole bunch of new people. So the partnership with Surfing Victoria has really enabled or facilitated uh, our easier connection to the surfing community. My role within the CMA is to manage the federal government money that we receive from the Australian government through the National Land Care Program. And the reason why we have put a conscious effort into sponsoring this, these two particular categories, both boys and girls, is because the CMA is trying to facilitate the involvement of Indigenous youth and bring that uh, Closing the Gap initiative and connection to country, so the coastal environment. One of the funding opportunities that our board riders has been and given the opportunity to apply for is if they want to re-vegetate re an area, Karangamite will uh, fund those projects or, or a similar projects like that, that anything to do with uh, creating a healthier environment in the areas. And it's fantastic to be able to see the surfers getting involved and helping plant um, in, in areas close to the coastline and really help revegetate those areas in need of a bit of love. So my hope with the partnership is that it is long standing and that eventually we can really see the really positive outcomes for, for both organisations. The biggest thing is educating surfers and, and educating them on how to, how to protect the environment and, and ensure that it's there for, for future generations. Personally, I'd love to see a lot more of the board riders clubs and local community groups getting behind all these opportunities to uh, create a healthier environment, healthier catchment areas, healthier ocean, because everyone's got to do their part to create a healthier ecosystem in the area. So this is an awesome opportunity for us to get more of that kind of stuff done. No, 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 no.